we have to balance this. Well, think of it like a teeter-totter or a seesaw. So it's going to be balanced at zero. Clearly, mine is incredibly unbalanced because the two weights are on the right side. And, you know, we want to balance that at zero. Uh, there's already two weights on it. We have a third weight right here, and we want to place it so it will be balanced. So clearly, it has to be placed somewhere on the left side. Now, the question is how far out should it be placed? Uh, it's a little dangerous to just take a guess and say, oh, somewhere over here, it's may maybe not between negative three and negative two. So I'll just put the point somewhere up top. We don't know where that's going to be. Uh, we'll call the position X. We know the weight already is 531.25 pounds. Okay, so how does this work? Well, we have already two weights. The further away they are from zero, the more force they're going to add, or the harder they're going to push the right side downward. And how hard are they going to push it? You just multiply the distance they are away from the fulcrum. So the 250 pound weight is one half away from zero. And the 500 pound weight is much further away. It's a distance four away. There's one more weight, which is 531 pounds, 0.25 pounds. And this is going to be at position X. Now, in order for this to not tilt left or right, we have to add all these up and get zero. So they're all going to cancel out. So let's go ahead and multiply these out. Uh, 250 cut in half is 125. 500 times four is a lot. 2,000. Uh, we're gonna try to solve for X, so let's subtract uh, the 531.25 to the right side. And then solve for x, just divide by negative 531. And that should be your x value right there. And it looks like it's somewhere close to negative 4. So somewhere in that area is where this weight's going to need to be to counteract or cancel out these two weights on the right side.